This is the story of two young guys, bound in friendship and in destiny. Ronald and Skinny, as often happened, went out for a picnic together to spend the day in the neighborhood countryside. Suddenly, Ronald pulled a couple of little plums out of his basket and gave one of them to his friend. Mmm, delicious. Deliciously lethal. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. The boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. The Mother Superior must have straightened them up as usual. I have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loose in my bladder. I like this room. Start here then. Put the little pet in the van. In the meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. And don't do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. There are colored books on the wall. But you don't even know which side a book opens on. I like colored books. Do you know what I don't like? Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? This carpet. It's soft as a marshmallow. I like marshmallows. <laughs> I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. Ah, I really needed a shower. Boss, it won't open. Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. Uh, I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? And what should I do now? <sighs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. Players are not what they used to be anymore. Let's uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. Let your player decide. Perfect. Let's start with the basic commands. The cross button is used for moving around. When interacting with hotspots, holding the button and then releasing it on one of the available icons will perform the accompanying action. Try with the chainsaw. Don't ask any questions, believe me. Skinny, try to be a little more accommodating. This is a tutorial. Now try to open the green satchel. There is something inside the satchel. Try to pick it up. Ma, there's gold in this here bag. Ah, no. It's just pyrite. Don't be fooled by appearances. It could be more useful than you can imagine. For some hotspots, there's only one action available. So pressing the cross button will be enough. Try to check out the bin. Thank <laughs> you. 
Was this really necessary? The player asked for our help. It's important to learn the game controls. Now let's take a look at multiple choice dialogues. We already saw them on our own. These constant delays are embarrassing. Well, what else? Holding the R1 button, you'll see all the hotspots with which you can interact. Pressing the Options button, you'll open and close the inventory. That's all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm in a rush and I've got to go. Is that it? I never saw such a sloppy tutorial. You're right. It's just that I'm busy like you wouldn't believe. See you soon. What happened to my wardrobe? I can't be separated from my wardrobe. It's a matter of life or death. Well, I mean, you know. Man, what an epic fail. I absolutely need the help of someone stronger than me. I've got no other choice. I wouldn't try. The bear gets jealous easily. I'm watching you. You have to understand the bear is convinced he's married to the duck. Bones off. Don't you dare violate my lady. Plums. Ah! Et tu, brute? Have you seen boss? I opened the door. Bravo, well done. But now let's go, it's lunchtime. I like eating. Then come on, move. What a blow. A dusty beer mug. Cheers! That's where that door led, and for all these years, nobody ever bothered to force it. Surely someone could give a good cleaning around here once in a while. How did this get in here? Thank you. 
I confess I've always been curious. An ending so unexpected. Ah, uh, um, just another small interruption to tell you that it may sometimes be possible to pick up the same object more than once. Another belated circumstance where you show your negligence. But thanks for the tip. I found the solution to your problems, mainly because if I waited for him to solve it, I would have died another time first. What am I supposed to do? You just have to open your mouth and say, ah. Uh... Okay. I feel... I feel a great power in my hands. Wait a minute. I have hands! <laughs> Sounds more threatening already, right? In my opinion, you're not so strong after all. What are you talking about? Don't you see I'm a beast? It doesn't seem that way to me. Test me then. Okay. In the room next door, there's a bed. I bet you won't be able to unscrew one of the knobs. It'll be child's play. Is this the knob? It's not a crystal ball, that's for sure. Uh... I don't get it. Yes, that's the one. It's up to me and you now, Nob. Is this yours? Ha ha ha. Very funny.
Backup is coming. Open your jaws and no funny business. It's so liberating. Kind of like when I escaped from prison. I don't know if you're being serious or you're just spectacularly trolling. We'll never find out. Please, give me just one second. I just realized this is the first time I've been out of the house since I died. Okay, I think I can manage. Let's go. Took you long enough, hmm? And where did you pop up from? This van is a wreck. I got out through a hole hidden in the floor. Is there a way to get in from under there? Negative, dude. My head may be huge, but nowhere near like yours. How about taking a ride with me? All aboard! Dude, have you have lost I your mind? It's not my fault. Don't blame me. Like you. I don't understand. Forget it. Back in my day, the screws were tightened clockwise. Come on, let's get a move on. Don't laze around.
I like to consider it more like using a cheat than a burglary. After all, we're still in a video game, right? Oh, you finally did it then. When you use nice manners, you get everything you want, nut. For a moment, I assumed the worst. We need to celebrate. Take this. How the hell often do I have to tell you I'm allergic? It's a damned nut! Do you even have eyes in those sockets? Something stinks here. It wasn't me. I mean, where the hell did those two go? I'll get out. I have to check. I see we're dealing with a Nobel laureate here. Isn't it a bit late? Have you checked the time? Yeah, from that clock, boss. You can relax. I like lunch breaks. Too bad that pendulum has been stuck for years. <sighs> Sorry, but I need you to return my chewing gum. <sighs> Those two are still not coming. What are they doing now? I'm going back to take a look.
Better set up the timer to guarantee an escape route. The water is tickling me. I like it. Come on, let's get back to the van and get out of here. I don't like these kind of days. You're telling me. If I find out who pried my van open, ugh. Remember your heart condition, boss. You're right. Let's just think about delivering everything and forget today, okay? Are you ready for the new house? I haven't even thought about it, actually. I just want to talk to Ronald as soon as possible. Why all this rush? Sorry, but I wasn't paying any attention earlier. I was too busy with my nuts. Basically, according to otherworldly laws, the perpetrators of a blood sin will be condemned to eternal damnation when they die. But Ronald's was an accident. That doesn't change anything. It's irrelevant. The only way to prevent this from happening is to confess his crime to someone else. Within five years. And how much time does he have left exactly? Three days. And you're just thinking about it now? I didn't want to overwhelm him. I wanted to give him his space. I really have no words. Ugh, damn spoiled brats. Hey boy, is everything okay? Tell me, that fall cut out your tongue? N no sir Isn't it too early to wear your costume? It's only afternoon. Um, what? You probably hit your head too hard on the ground. It's Halloween today. Otherwise, why would you wear that stupid skeleton costume? Oh, uh, yes. Of, yes, of course. Uh, for Halloween, obviously. Bah. Try not to make too much trouble while you're still around. Capiche? Brats. Where the hell am I? Did someone throw my wardrobe in a dump? Okay, calm down. I know the address of Ronald's new house. The problem is getting the wardrobe over there. Waste, waste, and waste again. Hey, wait a minute. Seems Santa Claus came early this year. Not bad, this map. Er, uh, did you know that you can open it at any moment by pressing the triangle button or selecting it from the top right corner of the inventory? And what are you doing here? Are you some sort of stalker? Please. I'm just omniscient. I don't want to disturb you further. Good luck with that wardrobe. Hey boy, you finally woke up. You know you could have broken your neck. This is not a fun fair. Thank you. 
All clear. Wow! An American party! Two minutes, twelve seconds. That is when the world will end. It's really fun around here. I think it's deadly boring with extremely loud music, people dancing, or getting hammered with beer. Jeez, very original, huh? What else is there to do around here then? I personally prefer quieter places. If I were you, I'd go to Roswell Pond or the beach. I even saw a complete lunatic who said he invented a time machine. Do you believe in time travel? Um, I wouldn't know. I've never thought about it. It seems like nonsense to me. See you later, Playboy Bunny. See you later, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Twenty eight days, six hours. Or my husband will hear us! Cuddle me, hot stuff! Rawr. Too. Do you know what's round, soft, and juicy? A tomato? No, stupid. A nice child. 
How many times have I got to tell you? I'm done eating children. I'm a fruitarian now. And what the hell does that mean? I only feed on fruit, and just the ones that fall from trees to the ground. You won't last more than a week. You'll see. You're really the black sheep of our family. Days, six hours, forty two minutes, twelve seconds. Check this out. We have guests. Let me welcome you to my little gloomy abode. For you, author of this video game, from now on you can count on my unconditional hate. Nice to meet you. My pleasure, believe me. <laughs> Where did those come from? They're the posters for a Horrorville concert that will be held tonight at the old cemetery. My brother didn't want any interference for his party, so he tore down as many as he could. The whole neighborhood was practically wallpapered with them. With your permission, I'll take it, Boogie. Go ahead. You earned it. Wake up, old man! You needn't shout like that. You're right. Excuse me. I forgive you. Listen, could you maybe sew some of this hair on the head of this doll? An unusual request. But I perceive no reason not to indulge you. Give it to me. Too kind. lighting system activated
Chapter 3 Voodoo Practices How to Get Revenge on the School Bullies While Keeping Your Distance Recover some hair or nail samples from the concerned bully and attach it to a doll. Then place a voodoo doll in the center of a pentacle. Close your eyes and channel your hate on the bully. Imagining him with his head in the toilet increases the chance of success. If the ritual is successful, the doll will assume the features of the designated victim. Grab a needle or some pins to stick into the voodoo doll. Enjoy your revenge. Aktung. Don't damage the doll by removing its limbs or head. Keep out of reach of children. That's Grandma! Uh, Ronald's Grandma, I mean. Damn my age. Ronald, Grandma, sweetheart, you came to see me? You're so emaciated. Are you eating enough? I'm trying to beat the casualty rate of the Green River Killer. It's taking me way too much time. You know, I'm always on the run. But honey, escaping from police is a tiring activity. Damn cops. You have to be well fed. You're right, Grandma. I'll eat more, I promise. I'll come back and visit you very soon, Grandma. Wait a minute, Ronald. It's dangerous out there. It's full of atheists. Take this. Go back to the nether realm, vile creature of Satan. You're the worst exorcist I've ever met. I... I really don't know what to say. It's a child's dream coming true. What are you guys doing? We happen to have a scam underway. A big scam. I couldn't... Mm, we couldn't stand our demeaning and not at all gratifying job as office workers anymore. So he spent... Um, I mean, we spent all our savings to buy this cave that we accidentally dated back to the Neolithic, complete with cave paintings. You're really an evil mastermind, no doubt about it. You mean we are really evil. The cave painting idea might be set aside. What do you mean? Look for yourself to my right. I'll be darned. This will be worth a lot of money. Neolithic by foot. Come on, let's go. We've got work to do. <laughs> On the house, you can never say no to a drink.
Yes, good boy. Drink. Don't look at me that way. I had no other choice. Look at him. He's sleeping like an angel. A few hours of sleep won't be bad for him. He was too stressed. Okay, negative thoughts. Nothing easier. All because of how easily I can project my complete hate of other people. Well, one of the few advantages of my skeletal form is that I'm unaffected by electric shocks. This is shaping up to be very fruitful fishing, finally. <laughs> I can't believe you did it. I am a real pro. What can you do? Why don't you take a look at your pockets? How on earth did you do it? When you spend your life escaping from the IRS, <laughs> you can't survive without uh, certain tricks. And how did you end up running a carousel? Social services. Anyway, with that coupon, you can collect a prize of your choice at the gypsy kiosk just outside the city. Oh, I almost forgot. Be careful going around with that other little bag I gave you. <laughs> oh god, what other little bag? <laughs> I was just joking. You're not funny at all.
I think you just found the most useless hotspot in the whole game. I won a coupon at the carousel. Choose your favorite prize. Anything? Anything. I'd like a cartridge of the E.T. video game for the Atari. Hmm. I gave out the last one just yesterday. No harm done. It's the worst game in history. But you're in luck. I can give you this. In this video game, some phrases are a bit too literal. Let's have a look. How is it possible that all this stuff could fit inside such a small package? Let's just hope this is the right time. This is a cool track. I've never heard it. Too bad I don't know the title. I was joking. My time has not yet come. Why are you so angry? Upstairs is close, and we can't do hanky panky with my blondie girlfriend upstairs. Given the circumstances, I'll volunteer myself as interpreter. The room on the upper floor is closed, so my girlfriend and I can't find a place where we can have a little alone time. The second upstairs is redundant. How come the door is closed? That stupid Johnny Blonde is there with his brunette whore. That unintelligent blonde man Johnny has shut himself in the room with that morally loose, dark-haired girl. She must be quite famous around here. Bad story, yep. Listen, since you can't go up there, why don't you give me a hand getting a wardrobe from the dump? Bite me! Tasty refusal. What if I find a way to clear the room? Why not? I suppose in this case, I can accept. Okay, don't move and don't abuse that girl while I'm gone. I'm not drinking booze. Yeah, nice. No booze.
The bedroom on the upper floor is empty now, as promised. Really? I'm calling my gang now. Be still, her. Take the guys and go to the dump. Don't waste my time. I don't care what you do now. It's all fixed. Go now. Hanky Panky Room is ready. Wow, they couldn't control themselves any longer.